Morning, the MEA in a press release has cautioned that their continued expressions not only impact India-Canada relations, but also encourage a climate of violence and criminality in Canada to the detriment of its own citizens. Now, joining us for further clarity into the matter, former diplomat Prabhu Dayal, thank you so much, sir, for making time for us. Sir, India has cautioned that this illustrates once again the political space that has been given in Canada to separatism, extremism and violence. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on your show. Canada has become a hotbed for anti-India activities by extremist Sikhs who are funded by Pakistan's intelligence service, the ISI. Now, these extremist Sikhs are openly calling for the breakup of India and the creation of Khalistan. They have in the past attacked the Indian High Commission in Ottawa, and they have also put up posters calling for the assassination of Indian diplomats, including the Indian High Commissioner in Canada. Uh, moreover, as we know, these extremists have also issued threats to the Hindu community in Canada. Now, Justin Trudeau's government has allowed all these anti-India activities to be carried out by the Khalistan supporters because he is indulging in vote bank politics. You know, Justin Trudeau heads a minority government. He has 160 seats in the Canadian Parliament while he needs 170 at least. So he needs outside support. And he has got the support from the anti-India, pro-Khalistan activist, Jagmeet Singh Dharibar, whose party, the uh, New Democratic Party, has 25 seats. So the actions of the pro-Khalistan elements have started to impact India-Canada relations. And they are also encouraging a climate of violence and criminality in Canada to the detriment of its own citizens. It is in this background that we should see these recent events. Yesterday, India summoned the Canadian Deputy High Commissioner to convey strong objections to the chanting of pro-Khalistan slogans at an event in Toronto, which was attended by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now, the slogan chanting at the gathering was really disturbing and it showcased the ongoing atmosphere of anti-India separatism, extremism and violence within Canada's political space. Now, I was listening to the comments of uh, uh, Maha Siddiqui from Canada and she rightly pointed out that the anti-India activities of the pro-Khalistan activists, uh, activists are going on without change. And that, for example, on 4th June last year, these radical Sikhs held a parade in Brampton, glorifying the assassination of Indira Gandhi. And the Brampton demonstration had a tableau of Indira Gandhi with blood on her clothes and a poster that read, Revenge of Attack on Sri Darbar Sahib. So all this is uh, greatly damaging uh, India's relations with Canada as it as it has to. Indeed, sir. And, uh, but, you know, you touched upon the, the crucial of aspect affairs. of vote bank politics. There isn't any denying the fact that there is vote bank politics that's playing in the fray. But at the same time, it wasn't just Justin Trudeau. After Trudeau gave his address, when we're talking about this specific incident, the opposition Conservative Party leader, Pierre Polivier, his speech was also preceded by Khalistan Zindabad slogans from the audience. So it's not just Trudeau. Yes, in a you're sense. right. It's the political atmosphere in Canada, right? Well, it is true that uh, the political atmosphere is such that both parties uh, perhaps think that they need the support of the Sikh community and including the radical Sikhs. The Sikh population, I understand, in Canada is about 2% of the total population and 2% is a sizable number. But this is impacting the kind of atmosphere which is prevailing in their country and naturally, in turn, it is impacting India's relations with Canada. Right. Also, sir, in the past, we've seen India has urged Canada to reduce the scale of its diplomatic presence within India. In such a case, is India likely to ask Canada to further downsize its presence here? Well, I think some steps will be taken. But India had asked Canada to downsize its mission 
for various reasons. Firstly, the size of the Canadian mission was much bigger than the size of the Indian mission in Canada. Then again, we had clear indications that uh, a lot of the diplomats in the Canadian High Commission here in India were indulging in anti-India activities. They were in touch with the pro-Khalistan elements and they were trying to uh, foster a very negative sort of activity. So it had it become necessary to ask Canada to downsize its mission. Now, if the relations worsen, then perhaps there could be some more steps taken right. to check things because our fear is that Canada is playing a mischievous role in regard to our bilateral relations. Well, India asserts that disturbing actions went unchecked as far as this event is concerned. Thank you so much, Mr. Diyal, for joining us as always and making time for us on the World 24-7.